Hello everybody, this is my new Gibson L50. It's not literally new, it's a vintage guitar built in the 1940s. I bought it the other day right around the corner here in Hamburg at number one guitar center and they gave me a piece of paper with the specifications and it says it was probably built in 1948. It has the old headstock logo though but uh, things were a bit of a mess during the war and shortly after so it's hard to tell there's also no serial number but it's a very nice guitar it has a lot of dings and dongs and scratches and of course it has a lot of stories to tell it's 16 inch Half mahogany back, solid spruce top, as it should be. The tailpiece is original, which is quite unusual because these things tend to break. And uh, <clears throat> the frets are also original. And I have the original pickguard, this here. Wait a second. So, This is it. It's uh, celluloid and celluloid is highly flammable. You have to be aware of that if you have one. And it's also damaged by a kind of virus which often occurs. Um, it, it kind of eats itself. And um, <clears throat> part of the fretboard already has gone bad. So I uninstalled it and put it on the window shelf and um, Maybe the best thing would be to throw it away, but it's a piece of history, so I can't do that. Anyway, um, the neck should be mahogany, but it isn't. It's a three-piece maple. And there's another thing weird about this guitar, as you can see. The cell phone's ringing. As you can see, it has no truss rod cover, which means it has no truss rod. So there were strict regulations on the use of steel at that time. But the guys of Gibson were fine luthiers and they had the expertise and the experience to build a neck which is strong enough to resist the tension of the strings. Uh, which is quite interesting to me because I was told that a steel string guitar necessarily needs to have a truss rod, otherwise the neck will bend or warp or even collapse, but this doesn't. So the neck is stray, as you can see, it's stray, though it's 80 years old. Yeah, the pre-owner loved the low action and a light string gauge, so I kept it that way. It plays very easy, which is nice. And I'm going to give you some impression on how it sounds.
There's something special about this guitar. It's the wood. It's old wood. That's not a myth. It's it's uh, something you can experience. You can you can feel it. You can touch it. You can hear it. And um, if you have the chance to get one of those, it will cost you between two thousand and three thousand euros or U.S. dollars. Might be the same price. You really have to check it out. Um, an L5 is more than 10k so this is a very good alternative it's an amazing guitar it's incredible and i i really enjoy it so thanks for watching the video relax and have a nice day